Good evening, brothers and sisters. Ah, we are in your sunny Sokwana Mwe. Ah, Muli Sibia Mutiawa, Uganda, Mwena. My name is Pastor Atso Edwin from Ghana. Erinyali Angenze, Pastor Atso Edwin, Okuba, Ghana. Um, I used to be in Sema Church, but currently I'm in Kofurudia Church in the Eastern Region. Uh, nali mbera mukanisa etema na ekati nada e, mukanisa eri mu Eastern Region e, e, mchivuga echafe. Um, I received salvation in 1997. Nafuna obloko zimurukumi ruenda chenda mumusambu. I entered into the mission school in 2001. I got dispatched in um, 2004. And for 16 years I was in Sema Church, that is the headquarters of Ghana. But um, this year in January I moved to the Eastern Region in Kofodia. Erakati Nagenda Muchikundia Emo Eastern Region. And I'm really happy um, to meet brothers and sisters from Uganda and I'm thankful to Pastor Kim for the invitation as well. Era never sanyo Erikatonda no more uh Pastor Kim uh Uganda Kriso Kwanga Nyaniza. This evening I'd like to read the Bible from John chapter four. Nenda Kwanga Soma Bible Muchitavo Chayokana is Layokuna. John chapter 4 from verse 7. There comes a woman of Samaria to draw water, and Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Hakubanga ba igirizwa be bali ba genze mchivuga o kugule mere. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou, being a Jew, ask drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria, for the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans? O mkazo msamaria na gamba, antigwe omu yuda ya chichie chikusavia o kunyua ilinze o mkazi o msamaria. Kubanga ba yuda ya tebatabagana, Na Basamaria. Jesus answered and said to her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that says to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Yes, Nadam Namugamba, and Tisinga, Obadoma, Ni, Yechirabo, Chakatonda, No, Yo, Akugamba, and Timpan, Yue, Bwali, Gwe, Wandi Musabie, Nayena, Niandi Kuade, Amazi, Amalam. The woman said unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou that living water? Are thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle? Gwe Yakobo e yatua oluziruno o yanyuerangamu ye naba nabe nen soloze. Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinks of this water shall thirst again. Yes, Nadam na Mugamba Antibuli a muntiye na anywa mazigano e nyon tate m eri muruma na te. But whosoever drinks of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into the last land. Na ye anywa mazi agonze gendi muwa enye kateri mulu madala emirembe jona na ye amazi gendi muwa agana fuka munda muye ensulo eza mazi aga kurukuta oktuka mvula mvuta guao. The woman said to him, Sir, give this water that I test not neither come hither to draw. Omkazi na mugamba anti seven pa amazago enyonta elemo kunu manga. No kukoma o nkome o kutambula o rugendo runo runa o kusenanga. Jesus said to her, Go call thy husband and come hither. 
Yesu na mugamba antigenda o itebalo o komeo wano. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, Thou hast well said, I have no husband. Omukazi na damu na mugamba antisiri nabaze, Yesu na mugamba anti oyoget devil unji. For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou hast is not thy husband, and that says thou truly. Ntisiri nabaze kubanga, wali nababalo batano, na ye, gori na kakano sibalo, e chocho yogede mazima. Let's jump to verse 25. Tugende kulinyoro abili muetano. The woman said unto him, I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Amukazi na mugamba anti manyinga Kristo ajja gwebaita e yafukibwako amafuta era bwalija alitukulira ebigambo byonna Jesus said unto her I that speak unto thee am he Yesu na mugamba anti nzenzu no oyogera nawe ayogera nawe and upon this came his disciples and marveled that he talked with a woman yet no man said why what seekest thou or why talks thou with her Amangwa gabayigirizabe nebajja nebawu nebe kubanga abadde ayogera no mukazi naye nga tewali muntu eyagamba eyagamba anti ononya chi oba chichi ekikwogeza naye The woman then left her water pot and went her way into the city and said to the men Awo mukazi naleka ensuwa ye nagenda mu kibuga nabulira abantu nti Come see a man which told me all things that I ever did. Is this not the Christ? Then went all out of the city and came unto him. I read up to verse 30. Uh, as I live in the church, there are many things that God has taught me. And there are many times that I have seen the works of God and the grace of God as well. Uh, but true spiritual life is not what happens outside or grace I receive, but what happens inside my heart. In 2019, I met a lot of challenges. But through those challenges, God wanted to work in my heart. Um, I met challenges. I was in charge of preparing, preparing the World Camp. And so as I prepared um, the World Camp, there are a lot of experiences and then a lot of things that I learned. But without me knowing those things that I experienced and the grace I received made me to be a person who could not listen to others. But at first I didn't know that I was the person who could not listen. So there were many times that our missionary in Ghana would tell me, Pastor, you do not listen. And so um uh, uh, we normally, for the last three years, we've had the World Camp at the University of Ghana. Yeah. So there was this arrangement we were trying to make with them to fence their sports facilities. So because we're um, trying to sign that MOU with them for Sometimes we use that facility without payment. So latter part of twenty nineteen the university approached us that um they would be happy if we can speed up the that project of fencing their 
um, sports facility because of uh, a games they have in 2020 January. Ah, uh, bali bagezeza ko tugamba anti bajja ko basanyi fo singa tugezeza ko kubanga tu uh, tukola chimbu nambiro kubanga bali bategeka MC eh emizanyo ja bili abili. So I was in charge of um importing the materials and also um that project. Kale nalinga mvuna nyizibwa project yoyo yo nayo na no kubanga zengula ebintu okuva eh, ebweru. So we have some Chinese brothers in our church and they imported the things from China. Ah uh, twaina ko abaluganda abomu kanisa ba China nga bintu bya bintu bino babijira dala ku very wabo e China. And we wanted to um receive the goods with tax exemption so that we can go and then um fix it. Twagala tuberenga tufuna ebintu bino nga tetufujidwa ko musoro tsoro kubanga tubikoze sabulungi no kubanga tukekereza. So when our brothers shipped it, they told me it was going to take about four to six days. Ah, uh, bana boluganda we bali nga bala bye chino baga ba chigenda kuberanga chitwala enna kunya kumukaga. So from time to time they would ask me, uh, pastor is the vessel has the vessel arrived? Ah, uh, de buli chisera bali basobola kuberanga bambuza ebintu bituse. And I told them don't worry, this is not the first time I'm doing this, don't worry. Nemba gamba ekisera kino temuli na kubanga mwera likirira mbe mbe bagumute mwera likirira For one month they asked me this question and I gave the same answer don't worry this is not the first time I'm doing this work Ah uh, uh, kumalo mwe simulamba na bagamba tinga temufa yo kuno simu gwe mulundi gwa kusoso kola bino So obviously after one month they got worried Kati olvanyi malo mwe simune batandiko kubera nge tunno siziba kuba so they approached uh, my head pastor and then they uh, said to him we are asking pastor so about this um goods but he keeps on saying we shouldn't worry but now we are worried ah never again da eliyo musumba wango mukuru ne bamugamba tubade tinga tuguzo musumba to ensonge no na yatu gamba temwera likira na yate tulaba tutandiso kubanga twera likirira so my pastor called me and then asked um pastor how about these goods have they arrived kati yo musumba cha vankubira na mbuza anti ebi tubino bituse could I also answer him don't worry this is not the first time I'm doing this na ene muda mwe chibuzo che chimuntu gukubere wa mu gunasuke mulundi gwa gusoso kubanga nkola bino of course not so i have to check and i ate kuchino nalino kubanga nkebera and then when i checked kati wena kebera i got the surprise of my life of na sanga ichintu echa ne unyisa the vessel has arrived over one month ago in the harbor and when the vessel arrives like that without clearing then penalties begin to okay atevi ntu singa vera bitandiko kubanga bitu sene bitwale bange dene we bitu baba bayino kubanga bakuba esente zenga si so now i was really in an urgent situation katinenda banga ngude mu songa etalinda so now I was running from the port to the University of Ghana trying all my best to clear these things early. Kale na sobolo kubanga nziru ko kugenda kumwalo nga mpaka ku University ye Ghana nga mbera siteredde kubanga na ino kubanga atireze nsonge eno. It took another 3 weeks to get the documents ready to clear. Kale ne chitu alira ne week satu namba kuberanga mfune ebiwandike bigendo kubanga bitereze eh at the end of the day we able to get a tax exemption but the penalties that we have incurred it would have been better not even to follow those documents ah uh, kati ah uh, twasobola kuberanga tujibwa ko musoro na yate penalty je oba uh, ingasi je twali no kuberanga tutasula yali kyali kisinga kone tubanga tetunonyereza na gapapulab in fact we had to pay penalties close to about 2000 dollars uh, ah twali tugenda kubanga tutasula ingasi ya dola 12 Really, really, I did not know how it occurred, and I didn't know why we we're going to pay that amount. Mazima genyini nalisima nye songe nongenda kubanga njivu nukantia. But truly, it was because I could not listen to just simple advice or instruction. Na ye songa ya linti yorokuwa nalisovo la kubanga mpuliriza o kuwa vuruwa kwa bantu wa balala. So at the time the brothers kept asking me whether the vessel had arrived if i had just checked then we would have been able to avoid that occurrence much said our volunteer the bamboos of our event in a valley with us and i did see now pulling the nalini now kubanga mba uli is an entambulidao so my head pastor called me and asked 
what 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 about this bill how did it happen kati omusumba wango mukuru kya banku bila nambu za in centers you know zizizitia now i started to find you know fault for others uh, this person did not work fast this person did not help me early anetandiko kuberanga no nyeso biza abantu balolo muntu ono te yanyamba nono te yanyamba 10 times he asked about this 10 times my answer changed emirundi 10 je yambu za ne okudamu kwange kwachu ke mirundi 10 i was trying very hard not to be a problem pastor na sobolo kuberanga ngeza ko kubanga asifu ko musumba owechizibu i was trying very hard not to be the person who brings death to the church Heranga sagara kubera muntu ngangeza konya kuba muntu atakola mabanja eri kanisa and in order to do that i had to lie i had to cover myself i had to put the blame on others eram zo kuberanga ntuka kwecho nageza konyo kuberanga nimba no ku no kuwairiza abantu abala no kwewoleleza erutata really i tried so hard to come out of that situation but it was not a situation that i could come out mazima nageza ko nyo kuberanga nzivunuke nsonge eno na yate sinze muntu yasobola kuberanga njivunuka when i thought of myself as a person who brings death to the church who hurts the heart of the brethren really i could not take it dala bwenete garanti ze muntu atasobola kuberanga mpuliriza miti maji abantu balala yenze muntu yasobola kubanga ndeta amabanje eri kanisa because for a long time i thought of myself as a person who helped the church kubanga kumale banga dene nero oza konga chitwalo kuba muntu e yali ayambe kanisa you know, whenever we have world camps we have to get sponsorship to be able to fill up the finance and that is where i come in ah kubanga buli wetu aberanga ne world camp nali no kuberanga no nyereza byo kuwagirwa no kusasibwa mu bintu ebimuno kubanga tuyambibwa i go to government for sponsorship i go to corporate institutions for sponsorship to be able to help the camp nenge ndambi tongole bya government ne bitongole bya bwana ke okubanga nonya obuwagizi no buyambi bwa bantu not once did i think of myself as a person who creates death in the church who destroys the heart of the brethren who causes pain to others no since the muntu yageza ko kuberanga nonya okubanga ti nze muntu aleta mabanja no kubanga numia emitima ya bo luganda so as i was trying so hard to cover up myself in this condition pastor called me once and then he said ah uh, when nalingeza ko kuberanga nebi kirira bwenti omusumba cha vampita na ngamba pastor so you do not believe in god at all omusumba uh, to gweto kiriza nga ko mukatonda na kamu why don't you stand before god once bwachi at no bo mulundi gumuno imira ko masoga katonda and when i heard those words nebi when nauli de bigambe ebyo i had to stand before god i know kuberanga nyimira masoga katonda Yes, I'm not as a pastor, but as a omusumba, as a person who is really evil, nga omuntu omubye nyodala, as a person who does not listen, nga omuntu atawuliriza nakamu, as a person who hurts the heart of brethren and who causes pain in the heart of brethren. Ongo omuntu alumya mitima ya Buganda era aleta ebizibu eri abo Buganda, and as the one who brings death to the church. Era omuntu ali leta mabanja eri kanisa Really I did not want to be that person but God made me into that kind of a person Dala nalisa gala kubera muntu bwato ne katonda yante kamuchifeche cyo kuba muntu afana nako bwacyo It was a very painful experience in my heart Kale cyari ikintu cyo bumanyirifo bubiyo burumi bwo burumi mutima gwange Because at that time we had just finished an 18 city tour um Kansas city tour 18 cities and we had some death kubanga ekisere kyo twali twakamala okutambula mu bibuga 10 na monana nga twina na mabanja kubatu ali tutambula lwa kantata so knowing very well we had some debt already to pay and then me creating an additional debt really really was very painful in my heart nga tukimanyi bulungi twina mabanja bwega tyo atene mbanga andeta mabanja mala chali cha bulumi nyo eliyo mutima gwange but if we see the book of first timothy na yati we tulabe kitabo cha timosewo ekyo lubereberie First Timothy chapter one. Ah, uh, Timothy, we bought what Timothy wo? Ah, uh, esule soka. First Timothy chapter one, verse fifteen and sixteen. Fifteen. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. 
Okay. Uh, Timothy, wait, yeah, first Timothy chapter. One, verse 15. Uh, esule soka orunyiriri orwe kuminetano lugamba bweruti ekigambo kyesigwa eri ekisanira okukirizibwa byonna nti Kristo yajja munsi okulokola abali nebibi mu bonna nze owo lubereberiye the 16 how be it for this cause i obtain mercy that in me first jesus christ my show forth all long suffering for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting Neche mva nsanyu kirua Yesu Kristo oruo alioke alabisi uh, alabise mwebio ebio luwelewelie okukumi kiliza kuwa bio kuwa kuwa kuna. You know, actually when I met all those challenges Dala wena sinkana okusomo ze vuofo I didn't know exactly what God wanted to do with me Nalisi manyi chi echitufu katonda chaya galo kuberanga angamba. Well, actually, um, just after that incident, there was another one. Olufanyi malwe msonge yo embele yo ne waba wate chilale chibuawo. You know, a brother that I know, um, he has a very big farm. Oluganda gwe manyi aina farm we nene nyo. The farm is 1.5 miles square. Eli na square miles e emu nechitundu. And he has a big mango plantation on that farm. One day he called me and he asked, Pastor, so my mango farm is ripe. Do you want some? And yes, of course, we I want some. When can you send a car for it? Uh, let me check and I'll call you back. So I sent a pickup to collect the mangoes. Because we were almost 100 people living um, in the church mission house, so I sent um, a, a pickup to collect the mangoes. And then the driver arrives and he gives me a call. Kati driver we atu kana kubira esim. Ah, pastor, the brother wants to speak with you. Oh, um, somba oruganda yagala kubanga yogera na we. Ah, she will put him on the line. Eh, mumpe. And then the brother says, um, pastor, the big mangoes are two Ghana fifty, and then the small mangoes are one Ghana fifty. How much will you buy? Ah, nangambati emiembe zinozidiri mo sente zegana tano nejine nejine mito nozidiri mo sente wezi o yagala zigula kugula miembe ya sente meka. What? What are you talking about? Two Ghana fifty, one Ghana fifty. Ne mbuzi o yogete bichevi umti atano kuata na bichevi. Hmm? When you called me, did you talk about money? Bo angu bide, wanga biya kwanti wobiri mo sente. You said your mango farm is ripe. Do I want some? I said yes. When can you send a car? I send a car. No ngamba and too much motor can end it in motor case. What is one Ghana fifty two Ghana fifty? And she, you know, every gun sent us a gun of a town on a zine in Miralatano. And then the brother said, But Pastor, how could you also guess that it's free? How did you imagine it's free? Chavaga mamusumba, luachi ochiroze za konti bia buerere. Huh? We have workers working here, we buy fertilizer, how did you just guess it's free? Kutuli ya kozi wano, tui kola sente, ratu gula nevi jimusa, kwa ugambo oti yanti ya gala vya dondolo. Oh my god, my bad, my bad. Okay, I I I was wrong, I made a mistake. Nemo gamba so nyuwa mukale ka nsovi ka katubireke. Please let me talk to my brother. Kati kanjo gene ne muganda wango yo kwen tumie. Ah, brother, I'm really sorry. I didn't check this thing well. Um, but now can you just return? And then Mugamba Uruganda and Sanyuwa Saudi is Zavurunji or Sumo Kudabu or Kumeo. And the place is one hour drive from Tema. Katio Maneche for Vugira Sawa Nambo Kuvetema. So the brother returns. Uruganda Chava Komao. I sent him with a car, he came back walking. Namutumane Motoka, Atea Komao Kuvigere. Brother, where's the car? Where's the pickup? Nemugamba Uruganda moto ke wa pick up where you are. Uh, it's at the police station. Nangamba Riku police. 
What is the car doing at the police station? I tell you, police are calling you. I didn't check, well, but the car insurance is expired. Ah, so now they've seized the car at the police station. Kati moto kava juwa mbiri ku police. Oh my God! How can one day have so many problems like that? Katonda wangu, oluna ko rumu rubera ko rutiye ebizi ku ebiti ebinji. It seems everything I touched was being cursed. Achira we can believe much in bad then take a kenga longa chikoli midwa bukoli mo. You know, really, I began to suspect myself that what is wrong. Dalaneta ndi koko kubera ngadevo sabo sa chicha mchiche chindi ko. Why is anything I'm touching becoming a problem? Ruachi buli chenko atako chiri ko bizibu. So really, it was so much difficult in my heart. Dalabuno kwari bizibu wa mani nyom muti magwangi. You know, but at a time when I was going through these things, I did not know exactly what God wanted to do. Dalabu naringa mpita mbizibu ebi tisama nya chiche chigenda kubanga chigenda maso. You know, you cannot swim without water. Atosubula kubera nga atosimba nga tewali mazi. And not play football without a park. Era atosubula kubera nga kuba mpira awatali chisawe. But the same way we want to receive grace but without sin and without challenge. Na ate tuwa gala tuwere nga tufuna e chisanga te tuwali chivinga tuwali na kutomo zewa. In First Timothy, Paul testified God came to save sinners of whom I am chief. Ah uh, ye Paulo agamba ti mutimo se onti ya katonda yaji okubira nga alokola abantu abono nyi ye nga ye sabono nyi Paul did not say I was chief but I am chief Ye tagamba ti tiova walwo yali agamba ye mono nyi but for that reason I obtained mercy Ate kulwenso nge yasubulu okubira nga afuna okutasirwa because I am chief of the sinners, I could obtain God's mercy. I wanted to receive grace from God. I wanted to experience God working in my heart. But I did not want to be a sinner. I did not want to be a problem person. But you know, but you know, he came to save sinners, not the righteous. If I can do things so well without any fault and mistake, why do I need Jesus Christ? So the last part of 2019, I met such challenges and my heart was really in pain. And then we entered January 1st, 2020. Uh, mchisele chyo nasubu lo kubela nga nyingi na omuaka ubiri ya bili nga nina obu zibu bunji na obu lumi bunji mmotima kwa nge. And on January 1st, 2020, we heard a New Year message from Pastor Park. Did I not say unto you, if you would believe you would see the glory of God? Mjanuari ya bili mbili tuafu na obu wako kubeli ya msumba Park and Tisagambi and Tivono Kirizo no labe chitibwa cha katonda. In John 11, 40, Pastor gave us these words. Era mjoni kumine emu wa msumba wa yatua e chitubizo chino. You know, my heart was so much in trouble and my heart was so much in despair. The words could just enter into my heart. Kati, unalabanga mutima kwa gwari mburu mikuwa manyi nyonga tili kumula kusoro kubanga kuyingila mutima kwa nge. And then in May, in 2020, my 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 department got changed in the church. Era mo May, bidi ya bidi, echifocha nge nechichuka mokanisa. I used to be in charge of protocol for quite a long time in the church, but I it got changed to um, broadcasting. Nalinga mdavirira abagenyi na yate eche nevanchu sa nevanchu ala mubien polisi ganya. Broadcasting is a part I had no idea, I, I had no experience about. Echale te chintu chino sa sama nyansonga chinga siri nako wade na kantu na kamuke manjiri de. And then my first duty came in May 2020. At the time we had online Bible seminar with Pastor Oksipa. So my head pastor, Pastor Moon, called me one day and said, Pastor Park says, Because of the COVID, there are many citizens living in despair. So let's go to the broadcasting stations and tell them to broadcast the seminar for free to give hope to the citizens. 
Uh, Tia musumba paka gambie kuruwa COVID ya bantubanji vali muna kune mnike Tugende ku mbi, ku mbi fo evi ya mpulizi ganya Tusubolo kubela anga tuba wa eh, Samoni za sezi no kubwelele bazwelenga bazu wa bantuba funesanyo And let's tell them to broker the sermons for free eh, Raba velenga bazu wele za kumpewo kubwelele So in front of Pastor Moon I said yes Pastor Amu maso kwa musumba munu na mugamba ye musumba when I turned around inside my heart, there was a big sound. For free here in Ghana. If you're one is Ghana. Is it possible? That they will show our sermons for free. I heard that sound. But you know. God has told me through 2019 when I accept my sound, I will surely fall in despair. Ah, katonda yangi kiliza okuita mwako gogwaita, nti wenzi kiliza dobozi li angenja kubanga ansubwa binji. For this reason, God trained me in 2019. What happens when you listen to your own heart voice? Ah, bili kumina muenda katonda ya subo lukunda ganti mkwenso ngeno jakupe ranga osubwa evitu binji ngo uli dize dobozi liyo. So though I heard that sound, but I was able to deny it and then move ahead to the broadcasting station. So I went, I went to the station, to the national broadcaster, and I said the same words to them. Guess what happened? They mocked and laughed at me. What is he saying? We should broadcast for free. Give this guy the bill and let him stop what he's saying. So they brought a bill of one thousand dollars. Nevaleta sentenga so really, it seemed like there was no way. So I, 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 I asked, you know, can't you do anything about this? And they said the best they could do is to give a 30% discount. So I called my head pastor and I informed pastor, this is what they are saying. So I asked him, shall I ask for discount? And my head pastor said to me, Pastor, we are not businessmen. You tell, you tell them once again, and if they are unwilling, you cancel. So when I heard Pastor's words, in his words, there was this clear assurance that they were going to give it to us. So I met one secretary and I asked, who has the power to give this thing for free here? And they said, it's only the director general. So together with Pastor, we met this Director General. And then we explained the whole thing to him. He picked his phone and then he called someone. And when the person entered the office, it was one of those managers who mocked and laughed at us. He said to him, these people have a nice program, please help them. You know, immediately they changed their talking. Uh, when do you want it broadcast? At what time do you prefer? They started to talk like this. And we were able to broadcast the seminar on TV for free. 
netisobola okubera nga tusa semineno ku TV zawe bako bwerere Really when I thought about it ah this was this was God Ah uh, bwenda kilo wosa ko namanya nti onabadde katonda Ah uh, for God to teach me this and open the way he trained my heart in 2019 about not trusting in myself Katonda bo yalinga yagala okubera nga akolera munze yasubula okubera nga atende ko mutima gwange mu 2019 okubanga sesiga mutima gwange you know, after that seminar, Pastor said, "Let's also broadcast Pastor Park weekly Sunday sermons on TV, also for free." Kati chava gamba msumba ngatu mazese mine yonti tuverenga tu sa okubulia kwa msumba Park kumpewo buliwa Sunday. One TV station we're looking for, they didn't want to agree. A telefai ne muge tuwa tutunuli devote vaya gala kuvera ngaba kora gana na fe. But one day these same people called me and then they said they were interested. Walugo ko TV mwe bali nga bagala ne bankubira simu ne bagamba bo bagade program wenu later i knew what happened olvanyu mabanye chatu kao you know they have six channels baina chano mukaga because of the covid they were not making profit but that ah uh, okolwa covid bali tebakola magoba na yenga bakola mabanja merere government wrote to them to close down three of their six channels uh, the government chief never could be never one dick and never gum anti Baberenga Bagala sat channels are with Satu. So all the channel managers were really urgent now and they wanted to accept new content. Kati the manager of Nabo Nabali in Gaba Vera Liki, the Gabagal of Vera Havafuna project in Pia in order to become relevant. Basavolok Vera Vomugaso. So that is how they called back that they were now interested in what they had rejected. Yes, on Galwachi, Bali Baganya, told Banyu and about to Kuviranga Bagam Babagala to Berenga to go up and take a take as a say. So through that, also God opened the way to make us broadcast weekly for the Park Sunday sermons on TV as well. A Rane Chat so so Kuviranga to sa in programs on Sumba Park Bull Wiki, uh, really, or Chano Zabwe. Really, as I began to see how God started to open the way, it made me understand what is grace. Uh, dala mwecho we nalaba ngiri katonda jari hatu kore la mcha asu bulo kubanga chima nyisa echi sache chi Really I did not want to be a problem person, I did not want to be a sinner But to give me grace God had to make me, make me a sinner Nze saya gala kubera mtu wabizibu na yato kubanga mpa echi e, nopo mtu mono nyi Na yoko kubera nga mpe echi saya ya mpulo mono nyi When we see the life of this Samaritan woman we read about today Abwe uh, tula bovula mbo mkazo na musamalia Abwe tusomieko oruwarero I don't think there is any woman who plans in life to marry six times uh, Sima nyinche wali yo mchala yene na monsimu no I planning obaba era nani teka teko kubanga wasa waka fumbiru waka babe mkaga But for this Samaritan woman things just did not work out Na yo na mkazo musamalia evintu vye tevya kutambula bulonji her first marriage did not work out, second did not work out, up to the fifth one did not work out. She became the talk of the city. Everybody pointed accusing fingers at her. People would advise their children not to live like her. So now she is so difficult, she does not even want to go to the well when people are there. Kati, yalimu buzibu wa maanyi nyo, ngata ya gala kubera nga agenda na kuruzi, nga bantu jengaji. She is going at odd hours, hot in the afternoon when she can meet no one. Nga agenda mpereketi ya uomu sana, nga asuburo kubera nga agenda kusena amazi. But on that day, Jesus sat on the well waiting for this woman. You know, because she is a person who could not live well, like live a correct life. Because she is a person who lives a very dirty life. And things did not work out well like she expected it to be. She wanted to live a clean life, but that did not happen. But you know, when she became that person, when she became an evil, wicked woman, 
when she became dirty, when she became worthless. When she became nothing. At that time, she could listen to the words of Jesus Christ. Jesus was saying things that did not make sense. I'm going to give you water that you will never test again. And the woman said, Sir, give me that water. And when Jesus said to her, I am the Messiah, she also accepted it. When Jesus said to her, you've had five husbands and the current one is not your husband, she was not offended. She was not offended at those words. This woman really had a very special heart to accept the words of Jesus Christ. But brethren, what we have to know, that heart was not just made. That heart was made after she had failed and filled and filled several times. After she could not live as she wanted, she could only become a dirty, evil, wicked person. She could make that heart. Just a verse before John chapter 4 is John chapter 3. Nicodemus, Nicodemus, who was a teacher of the law, rejected everything Jesus said to him. When Jesus said, Unless you are born again, he said, How can I? How can I enter into my mother's womb? No, Nicodemus was what he meant was that you know he was he was trying to say what Jesus is saying is nonsense. But Jesus yeah, but he did not know what he was saying. Why? Because he was not nothing. He was a teacher of the law. He thought he was a very precious person. So he could reject everything Jesus Christ said. When you become nothing, at the time the word of Jesus Christ can become powerful. Let's see Psalm 53. Psalm chapter God looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand, that did seek God. Verse 3, 52 and 3. Every one of them is gone back. They are together become filthy. There is none that does good, no, not one. Every one of them is gone back. They are together become filthy. There is none that does good, Abantu abali basobola okubera obulungi naye kati lwaki katonda yasindika Yesu Kristo. 
God sent Jesus Christ when he discovered not even one person can do right. Not one person can do good. Uh, yeah, katonda ya sindika yesu kristo kubanga tewali muntinomu ato wala kola bulonji era tewali muntinomu uh, uh, yali atele ategira you know after god having sent jesus by how arrogant it is to think i can do well i can keep the law i can live right uh, katonda wa yali inga sindika mungeri um, uh, wetio yali ya subolo kumanyati ya bantu wazi za subolo kuchite gira tewali no mwa subolo kuloho zanti ya kola bulonji yoba kola buwati so really God taught me how wicked, how foolish I was to think I was a person who could help the church. I was a person who was doing well in my uh, Christian life. That was very foolish thought. But in reality, I was a person who could not listen. In reality, I was a person who was a troublemaker and who created a lot of pain to many people. Kubanga mazima ze mwonto yali akola uh, evinte vinga ndeta vuzivu elie kanisa no kubanga ndeta uvulumi. But when God brought me his eyes to be able to see my true image, for that yeah. reason I obtained mercy. Uh, Katonda wea suvulo kuberanga andage chifana ichi ange chitufu. Elana mm-hmm. andaga nzani ya suvulo kuberanga nyamba na suvulo kunzivu nula mbela kwecho. This Samaritan woman at the time may not have known why her life is so awkward, so dirty, and so filthy. But for that reason, she could obtain big mercy from God. So if we go back to John chapter 4, let's go back to John chapter 4, verse 29 and 30. Uh, today, my yokan is where you kuna or in your rabbit in more moenda nor was that John four verse twenty nine and thirty. Uh, yokan and ya a very moenda nasa two. Twenty nine says, Come see a man which told me all things that I ever did. Is this not the Christ? Mujemula ve or moon to angabie, the nakola angabiona. Then they went out of the city and came unto him. So when I see what this woman is saying, as she spoke with Christ, there was something very different. The reason why she did not want to meet anybody in the town, the reason why she lived a lonely life because she thought her lifestyle was the problem. So she tried to correct her life, but it would not be corrected. But when she met Jesus Christ and spoke with Christ, what she could realize was that it wasn't really about her lifestyle, but she had not met who the real Savior was. You know, when we talk about Savior, whether I am weak, whether I am lacking, should not be an issue. If he's a true Savior, he can be able to save me. But we are not targeted to Kumlokozi. The church has got many things that are not in line with the Kumlokozi church too. Many people, many people are going to church thinking they have to correct their life. They have to do well before God can save them. How is God a savior in that case? Avant, avant, if you are in the world and you are taking drugs, we are not going to take drugs. 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 We are thinking of Jesus Christ. Come see a man who told me all that I ever did. He knows everything I did. He knows I've married five times and I'm currently living with the sixth one. He knows everything about me. But he told me he is the Messiah. He is my Savior. He knew everything that I did and yet he did not condemn me. He 
He knew everything that I did and yet he saved me. He knew everything that I did and yet he called me righteous. Is this not the Christ? And then when the people of the city heard it, they were so amazed. Is there somebody like that? Did somebody really tell you that? This woman was so amazed and so sad when she met Jesus Christ. You know, in Ghana also, um, um, through Pastor Kim Gison's direction, we are preaching in the prisons. And then when the COVID came, we could not go to the prison. But we were instructed to do TV donation projects in the prisons and then do virtual lectures in the prisons. And last Last February 6, one inmate was released who had spent 24 years in prison. When we heard his testimony, we were all touched and so much touched in our hearts. He said, in the prison, we were made to believe you can never be clean. But when I heard the message from Pastor Oxu Park in the prison, through the virtual lectures, I discovered I have been washed from my sins. I discovered I am righteous. He was so happy. For people who spent 24 years in prison, they come out and they hide themselves. But he was going everywhere giving testimony and meeting people to tell them his story. When this woman met Jesus Christ, her life completely changed. For the first time, she became free from herself and she could go back to these people who once condemned her and guided them to Jesus Christ. Some see a man who knew all that I did. But he did not condemn me. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. For 24 says, Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption in Christ. Recently, I met one policewoman. And she was quite short for me to become a policewoman. Because in Ghana, you need a certain height to be able to enter into the police. And so I asked her, did you pass the height measurement? She said no. How did you become a policewoman? Ah, there's someone that I know in and the police service. And so he spoke to the person in charge and the person said, although I do not qualify by height, but I can still enter. And so on God's measurements we all failed. But through grace that Jesus Christ gave through his death, 
he made us righteous and justified us yane masoga katonda tuli bantu abatasola kuberanga tuka ku chifime che naye to kuita mu chisache twafuka the bible did not actually write this bible ichi nofsiwete bwe achiwandika jesus christ spent two days in this very city of the samaritans yes ya male enaku bidi mu chibuga cha samaria i thought about the two days how did this woman live ane nebuza ono mukazi munaku zino yabera watia when i thought about it she lived as secretary to jesus christ the whole city came to meet jesus christ and people wanted to meet jesus christ individually but as the secretary of jesus she would say wait a minute somebody is meeting jesus christ now just wait a minute ndo zanga secretary wa Yesu Kristo yaringa gamba linda mukatono wali wo muntu achayogera na Yesu Kristo linda mukatono ah, so how did you meet him na yegwe wa musinkana otia by the well side i met him na musinkana kuluzi i made him think he knew every wrong thing i did but he did not condemn ate chitweche unyisa yali amanyi buli chitu chona chona che nali nkoze nga sirina che mugambi justified me yantukuza when you meet him do not hide about what you do he will surely make you righteous thank you thank you thank you i'm really sorry for how i treated you before i think those two days will be the happiest time of her life while she lived just testifying about jesus christ she led the whole city to jesus christ you know whilst we testify about jesus and whilst we live as the secretaries of jesus here on earth god is giving us the ability to lead the whole city the whole country but to be around to our Julia Yesu Christo, Rabba, about one this by Yesu Christo, so look at some of the Yesu Christo, which you got your number, Monsieur Zetulim. I'm so thankful that when we become nothing, the word of God becomes powerful and leads our life. And in Oxima, for money to a two full car, one to a tally moon, a battery moon, sir, a chigambo Yesu Christo, chief for car, a chimney ensemble, a mob of say. Tomorrow, I would like to testify how when I testified about Jesus. God could give me the whole city. Ah, uh, in change ya kuvanga mbao bujuli fe bujuli zi ingeli jet jenna wa mo bujuli zi wa Yesu Kristo era na mfula na nyini we chibuga. I glorify God who has given us this opportunity to preach His gospel. I like to end here. Thank you. Neva zakatunda tuwa de chiso kubera anga tuwa bujuli zi anga tu bolida era jagala kuvanga koma wano. Ah, uh, thank you very much, Pastor. Uh, this okay. time we are going to listen from uh, Pastor Kim. Uh, let's welcome Pastor Kim. Yeah, Pastor. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Pastor. I'm very happy oh, who gave us this precious time. Uh, really, we listen very well your testimony and also how uh, God is working in your heart, especially also through the story of the Samaria, Samaritan woman. When she became a person who is nothing, she was able to receive the word of God directly in her heart. And also from there, her life was changed. And uh, we can see it in the same way or when we are trusting ourselves, our thoughts, really God cannot work properly. But the time we denying our thoughts and connect with the heart of church and heart of servant of God, really we can see how God is working properly. I wish that all our brothers and sisters uh, listen this word of God in our heart. And good thing is we uh, record this video and also it is on live on Facebook that we are able to listen continue the heart of God and also we can share through audio on WhatsApp group so that you can listen the word of God. I'm happy also Pastor Moon is here with us. Can he give us short greeting and short encouraging message for our brethren? Let us
Welcome, our Pastor Moon from Ghana, senior pastor. Welcome, Pastor. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Yes. I'm very happy. I'm happy to say how great I am. I'm happy to say how great I am. Um, the next time I'm also not only talk about our social and just how to share in the Ghana and Uganda. We share with our testimony. Um, the next time we Uh, what Pastor Moon say that uh, uh, he can continue prepare more lecturers and pastors who can give us a message. Yeah. yeah, really, I was very happy because uh, I was together with Pastor Moon in mission schools. Uh, and really, and we are able to receive the heart of God together with the Ghana Church. Uh, now Ghana has uh, over 50 branches in Ghana. Era Ghana eina amatavi agasuka makumi atano mchivuge che Ghana. Where Pastor Moon is uh, brother, problem. almost the 1,000 brethren in Ghana, Tema Church. Wa musumba Moon wali mkanisa ye Tema wali ya Voluganda, basoba murukumi. Pastor Moon is here together with us. Yeah. Wa musumba Moon waze. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the network was a problem. Um, so, so, not only these times, uh, it's a continual lecture to share our testimony. Because uh, uh, of the pasta, Kenzin King is an inviter, local pasta is from Ghana, and uh, we are waiting for many the local pastas uh, who, who want to testify in the Uganda. Era nga omusumba Kim Yongjin wa saba abasumbo kuvegana na fetulindi da abe Uganda. Thank you so much, Uganda brother sisters. Mwebale nyo abo Uganda kuva e Uganda. Obugalo. Yeah, thank you so much. Pastor Moon, is it possible to give us closing prayer to finishing today's seminar? Um, Sumba Moon, to Savide, to Verenga, to Maridza seminar. Let's pray. At Save. Heavenly Father, thank you so much. Vuchita uh, Fomu Guru Tukeba Zanyo. The Persa Summit Chapter 30, 
when Sivala was born. Ah, uh, Samuiri Sule Chisoka, Sule Kuminenya, uh, Webaringa Bayu Chesa, Echibuga. Maybe the, his heart was greatly distressed. Omutima Guadaudi, Guadinga Gugude Munike, no Kuruma. When he had a distressed heart, he didn't stay there, but he stood before God to ask what was the promise of God. And he received God's promise. Pursue you shall surely take them and then without failure you recover all. And he received all things according to the promise of God. And next chapter, Saul was a king leader. And then next chapter, next chapter, David, he became the king. We do not know all the heart of God. But when Shigala was born, maybe the heart was greatly distressed. And he asked God But at that time, the heart of God was that he wanted to call David from Siglach to Jerusalem to be king of Israel. But at the same condition, our heart never say to us real fact and the heart of God. So, much God, uh, today also you make we deny ours on short, but to be able to believe God's word. And recently, due to COVID-19, we could start broadcasting. And also recently, when I saw the Pastor Park, who is in USA, the glory of God and the glory of God. Ah, when Daba and Nakus no Musumba Park and Galimu in America, and I saw the Kurabech Tiwacha Katonda, the change in your. We do not know why God prepares the COVID-19 to us. But by the COVID-19 the we could start the broadcasting of the world and by the broadcasting the USA mission and many governments could the enter the good news mission and pass apart. So whenever we have the challenge, when we stress the heart, please you lead us not to believe our heart but the promise of God. And Uganda mission and Ghana mission between each other, so you make we share our testimony and then heart. And through this, uh, the please you lead, uh, we are looking for the, what is the promise of God and heart of God. Amen. Amen.
Thank you so much. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.